Welcome back everybody. We're here with another Ikoria Layer of Behemoth box break. We have six fantastic sponsors. We're going to divide this box up evenly. We're going to open the packs. We're going to roll for the topper and we're going to mail these things out. These Ikoria draft boxes have been extremely, extremely good so far. And I'm going to tell you, if you had to ask, if you had a, uh, let me count these. If you had a box of Theros Beyond Death and a box of this side by side, I would step on the box of Theros to get to this. And that's saying something. Almost have these counted out. I just want to make sure everybody gets the proper number of packs. And I really like these red packs too. I think that's pretty cool. Let's scoot everybody over so we can see who they are. So we're going to start up here at the top left. We have Terius, we got John, we have Manuel, we have Bo, we have Brenton. And we have Cameron. We're going to go ahead and get this started. Good luck, everybody. Thank you for allowing me to do this. And let's get some spicy pulls. Right off the bat, Ruinous Ultimatum. That is a decent ultimatum pull. Creepy Squirrel. Bushmeat Poacher. And just a dinosaur. Do you ever wonder if some of these dinosaurs they have in the set were left over from Ixalan? They were like, well, that dinosaur doesn't quite fit what Ixalan's doing. Mythos. So we're going to save them and put them in a Coria. And is it a, a coincidence they both start with an I? I don't think so. A Honey Mammoth. With a Offspring's Revenge. General's Enforcer. This is a neat card. I don't know if you guys have seen that or not. But legendary humans you control have indestructible. I wonder if they made him to go with the, the General Kudro. Showcase Piercer. Yorion, Sky Nomad. There we go. That's a good hit. Blitz Leech. I really like this guy. He's three mana for a land tutor with Vigilance. And he's a 1-1. One, one. He's not spectacular, but I think he's just enough. We have a Human Soldier. We have a Swamp. And we got our first Triome. There we go. It's Ketria. I think that's probably one of the better color pairs. We have this creepy dude eating a deer. The brush wag that looks like he's eating some mushrooms he shouldn't have. And a porcupine monkey. All right, last pack for Terius. Let's get one more good pull. We start off a little slow, but the last two packs have kind of brought us back. We have a Mythos of Vadrock, and I'm going to continue to say it differently every time I get one. And it's not intentional. It's just how I do things. Alrighty. Moving on here to John M. We got a pack with the lovely Vivian on the front. A baby dinosaur, a plains, a foil rare enclave. Oh, that's a good pack. Foil rare and a Lurus. Flaming Panther. Showcase Parcel Beast. That was an okay pack. No table required, blood fill cave, and chat of the jungle. 
I wonder if he's got a spot in that tool belt for a can of Axe body spray. Probably not. Davey Notter. He's just a cute little guy. He could have all my coins if he'd let me pat his head. Obosh, the Prey Piercer companion. I think this guy's gonna, he's not getting a ton of love yet that I've seen, but I think maybe eventually people are gonna catch on to him. Unbreakable Bond. And a Luca Copper Coat Outcast. Definitely like the pack art better than the extended art. That's our first mythic hit with a Lizard Beast. Tigerilla. Gigantha, the Wellspring, another good hit. Bright Dragon, good uncommon. I think this is, regardless of the value of the cards in the long run, I think this is one set that when I open the packs, I'd never be sad to see one of the companions or one of the triumphs. Last rare for John, just a little Slither Wisp. The double black casting cost makes this guy hard to get out. Why'd they have to do that to him? There we go. John, moving you side. All right, here's my man, Manuel. He's up next. Oh, that trolled me. But we got a giant. Let's do something different here. Instead of just liking the video, being subscribed, and commenting, what we're going to do here is this pack, we're going to do a pack one, pick one. So for your comment, if you were in a booster draft and this is the first pack you opened, which card would you pull out of it? Put that as your comment in the video or in the in this section. Well, howdy, howdy, howdy doody. There we go. That's a good hit. I'm going to go back through these the other way. That way we, we can get a good look at uh, look at the card. See what you would pick first in a draft. I was just reading that sorry guys just getting a good look at it because I know she is good and I've never sat down the I've not, I've not slowed down yet to read some of the cards in their entirety so that was a good hit we have another good hit here for manual we have a foil far finder cute little fox and a showcase triome two packs two hits we're doing it up. Or is that three packs? That was three packs, sorry. Foil Showcase, Uncommon, and the Gem Razor. Fashion of Remembrance, another Sprite Dragon. Island, Whirlwind of Thought, and let's just flip through, 
see what else might be in here. Does anybody play with this card? Last pack for Manuel. He's got a couple good hits. Let's see if he's got one more in him. Thought it was a Triome. It's just a Crystal. And a Lava Brink Venturer. For three mana, you get a 3-3 three, three body. So that's decent value already. When he enters the battlefield, choose odd or even. He has protection from the converted mana cost of the chosen value. That seems good. And it also seems like an odd design for a card. Feels like eventually we're going to get one that says, when it comes into play, flip a coin. And whatever it lands on, it has protection from heads or tails. That's kind of kind of where that's going. Bo, you're up next. Six crispy packs. Netheroy, right off the rip. Pack two. Up. Durs back. I'm waiting for somebody to do something cool with these tokens. Do some sort of custom altar. Flame spill. Chupacabra. Sanctuary Lockdown. That's what we've all been in for, feels like forever. Angry Glim Gremlin. Cathartic Reunion. There's a lot of, this This guy loving this dinosaur. There's a lot of that going on. I guess if I had a, uh, a pet dinosaur, I'd love it too. Karuga. Bird Swallow. Facet Reader. Let me see what he does. He loots. Human Soldier. Mountain. There we go. Cogla the Titanite. Why are they sending airplanes and jets after the Godzillas, but they're going to get out the hot air balloons on this guy? He doesn't seem like much less of a threat to me. Oh, there we go. Little Vulpa Key. Last pack for both. Let's see if we can pull some magic. Last pack magic here. Death's Oasis. If I'm playing blue in a draft, this capture spear seems to be pretty decent removal. That's a spear. I'm in space sphere. I can't talk most days. Brent H, you're up. Let's see what we got. Thornwood Falls. It looks like we got a little something spicy here. There we go. Apex of Wishes Showcase. And he's got one of those little spiky balls that you throw with your dog. The ones that have the light or the uh, the squeaker in it. You know the ones I'm talking about. If you're if you're a dog owner, you know you know. That's a that's a really cool looking card though. No denying that. So that's three showcase cards out of one draft box. Pretty good. Great chart. Turtle. I 
I played against a guy in draft that he like his whole deck was these. He had like twenty of them out there. Catbird, Cliffs, Foil Basic Land. That's always a nice little bonus. With the Ozolith. This card feels like it should be a mythic to me. Instead of just a just a rare. Just its ability. And it's called the Ozolith. Heron. And the Dead Eye. Snap decks. Blood Curdle. Off the Serpent and Destruction. Does anybody know the story behind these mythoses? Like, they're, they're all cave art. So I'm wondering if there's a, a, a like a backstory or some, some something that's been put out about them. I just, I'm interested. Somebody email Seb for me and see if he's got the uh, the scoop. Lost Mean Sands and a Titan's Nest. Does anybody have a way to abuse this yet? What are the uh, what's the combos with this? I feel like there's something something there. Last pack. For Brenton. Human Soldier. Mountain. Garuda. There we go. We see him in just about every uh, draft box. And that is a good rare hit. Companion card. Does shenanigans with the top of your library and your graveyard. Six more packs before we get to the box topper. Cameron C, up to bat. We have a Ferocious, Cat Ape, and a Kahira the Orphan Guard. Cherry Harvester. Unpredictable Cyclone. I ate the wrong mushrooms. No table required. Quartzwood Crasher. Don't see a whole lot of that guy for him just to be a rare. Great Horn. Dinosaur. Planes. And then we have a foil Eerie Ultimatum. I've said it once and I'll say it again. That's some of the it's, it's, it's eye-catching. I'm not going to say it's the best art, but it catches your eye. The purples and the greens against the, the, the golden background with a huge tabby cat. Human soldier. Blood fell caves and a cub warning. He makes other little kitty cats. Glimmer Bell. That's a that's a you'd be surprised how many times I just steal a game with these two cards. Pretty silly. Let's see, what is a cub warning? He's just a cat, but I feel like he'd be mixed with like a, a ram. Or some other kind of uh, hooven beast. 
All right, last pack. Companion token, Tranquil Cove, and a foil Bastion. So we still have a little bit of suspense. And a Triome. There we go. Ending it on a good note. Put this to the side. I usually have this done before we start, but I'm slipping. I want to have these numbered. That way we can see who gets the topper. And there's no question about it. This is a new dice. It's not my six or one dice. It's not the one from yesterday. It's a completely new dice. We're going to shake this dude up. We're going to roll it. And it's a three. So manual. You get the box topper. I think we rolled a three yesterday. So let's open this thing up and see what you got. It's even got a little tab. Look at that. I may have to use it. I try to be a little more careful with these because you never know what's inside. All right, here we go. I'm not going to count to three. I'm going to count... To nothing and we're just gonna flip it over oh foil plant beast in the house right in your face that's what i like to see you gotta love the foil plant beast go ahead and sit him over there like i said guys for the comment tell me what your pack one pick one would be make sure you're subscribed like the video i'm glad to see you and we'll see you next time.